solution. Yeah, you can do a rough outline on the side of the network and then say, yeah, go for it. I'll change it and that's how we love it. And that was the end of it. Here's a lot tougher. You know, Australia Runner David is like one of the most, known as like the most thorough um, story guys in the So uh, I've, yeah, I've certainly learned a lot about story guys. And work ID. So what, what sort of differences are there going to be? I heard you say, I think it's a guy involved instead of the girl, and then the off awesome version is a girl, right? It was, it, was, it was more of a love triangle uh, between the guy, the girl, and the dog, and even though they might get there eventually, uh, there's certainly uh, attraction and an element of it, but this is more of a buddy comedy. Uh, it's, it's really, really smart, it's really psychological, and, and, kind of, and really often but, um, <laughs> it does. It does get a bit different. But, but the, the golden rule about all that is it's going to be funny. And, uh, you know, we love a lot. So how do you think US audiences are going to react to the show? So far, I mean, a lot of Aussie fans are sort of saying, "Americans won't get it. They won't get it." But every single American that even saw the Australian version instantly gets it. And uh, we shot on Venice like, three times. And all three times, Aussies have come up to me and gone, Wilbur, Wilbur. But the last time, since the promos, we had like Americans saying, hey, you Wilbur, yeah, that looks great. Yeah, so I'm really hoping that they, um, so far there's a lot of people. There are quite a few people who have actually seen the pilot, and I think, I think we were not concerned, but we were, we sort of figured it was one of those shows that would take a few episodes in to really kind of raise the concept. And everyone that's seen the pilot seems to really understand it immediately. Um, and it seems to resonate with people who find it really fun. It's kind of wonderful, and I think we didn't necessarily expect that, and we were okay with that. I think it was one of those shows, we feel like it's one of those shows that we're happy to allow it to kind of grow and to build with people, but people seem to kind of grasp it immediately. When you bend the rules of reality, like we're kind of doing in this show, uh, it, it can be easy for people to get confused, but you know, to, um, to pat this guy on the back, you know, like he just grounds it in such a, he, when he, he, his acting, he's just so invested in it, seeing it through his eyes, and I, and I think that's a lot, you know, why American audiences are really kind of getting it, like they're, they're seeing it through his performance. When do you think we can expect to see it? It's airing in June. Okay. Have you reported to the comic set yet? Not yet. Not yet? No, I think it'll be either November or December. Okay. Yeah. Are you excited? Very excited. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, now, did you see Iggy Pop on American Idol? I did. You did? What did you think? Yeah. Look, he's incredible. <laughs> it's interesting, American Idol, as a, as a venue for... It's so pop culture. You know, it's a very interesting place for sort of respected... Um, Groundbreaking artists to play on. I think it made some of the fans of those best people a little bit of backlash. And I, I definitely read some things where people were upset that Iggy had done it. But I think it's great. Look, it introduces an entirely new generation to what Iggy does. And the fact that he can do it the way that he can still do it, um, very much like he always used to.